This video is about negative feedback in operational amplifier circuits. The equation for the output of an op amp is always true as long as the output is not saturated. So, remember the op amp has two inputs and an output, and the output is proportional to the difference between the non-inverting input and the inverting input. For negative feedback, then the voltage at V minus is made to be some proportion of V out. The ratio of V minus to V out is called the feedback factor beta. For instance, with just a wire from V minus to V out, the, feed, the feedback factor is 1, and this is the case for a voltage follower. So for feedback, V minus is beta times V out, where beta is between 0 and 1. So the op amp equation becomes this. So V out is the gain times V plus minus beta times the gain times V out. So, with some algebra, we can show that V out is V plus times 1 over 1 over A plus beta. Now, if the gain, A, is much greater than 1, then A is much, much greater than beta, and so 1 over A is much, much less than beta, so in this term, beta will be much bigger than 1 over A, so we can ignore the 1 over A term. So we get that the output voltage is the non-inverting input times 1 over beta. So the output depends only on beta, the feedback factor. So for a voltage follower, where beta equals 1, V out equals the voltage at the non-inverting input, as expected. For a non-inverting amplifier, V minus is here, V plus is here, so this can be redrawn. So, now RF and RI, you'll see, form a voltage divider so that the voltage at V minus is a fraction of V out. By, this, by definition, this is the feedback factor, beta. So, beta is RI over RF plus RI. So the gain is 1 over beta is RF over plus RI over RI, as expected. So here we go again, and now, this can be redrawn. Notice now I've called this VB, and the input voltage is between the non-inverting input and ground, and the output voltage is between the output and ground, and I've called this VA. So, V out over V in is actually VA over VB, and so on. So now, if RI isn't grounded, and we just call this VC instead of zero, then the circuit looks like this. And so V out is just VA minus VC, and V in is VB minus VC. So we can rewrite the same equation like this. Now we can draw it slightly differently. All that's happened here is we've bent this resistor up and put VC up here instead of down here. So we haven't changed the circuit. So since VA minus VC, since we have this relationship, then we can rewrite it to show that VA minus 1 plus RF over RI times VB equals minus RI over R, RF R over RI times VC. So finally, and then finally, we can set VB to ground in this case. So we get this. And so VA equals minus RF over RI times VC. And you'll notice this is actually just an inverting amplifier. So we've taken the non-inverting amplifier and just rearranged it, and it's an inverting amplifier. This means that the feedback factor, beta, is the same for an inverting amplifier and a non-inverting amplifier. 